Hi, guys, welcome back to my channel. Please share and subscribe my channel to get more interesting topic. Thanks. Hi guys, today's discussion about the tips for using welding gauges, weld gauges. So, uh, how to use the weld gauges on the weld profile? We need to check. Today we'll explain the different types of uh measuring uh, how, how to measure the welding uh, in a different profile let's see the next page tips for using weld gauges so weld gauges are an everyday tool for certified weld inspector it is a very important tool whenever you are doing at the site welding inspection when you are doing welding inspection at site it's very important the weld gauges should be have it should be in your pocket gauges are available for checking alignment checking dimension before welding verifying weld dimensions and for measuring the size of porosity among other items gauges can be single or multi-purpose following our description and tips for using seven types of welding gauges okay so welding gauges we are using when the everyday tool it is and it is available in the checking alignment and very various types of dimension so when we, how you'd have to check the welding dimension all these things as per the WPS, in WPS, what are the if the angle bevel angle is 30 degree, we need to check the bevel angle 30 degree is before the welding and at the time of fit up also we need to check before fit up we need to check all this road face everything are as per the WPS. So how we will check this one? So it is called it is the measure it should be measured by the welding gauges old gauges. So we'll go one by one you see pipe internal alignment gauge this is we can if the pipe is both pipe is joining how we can know the pipe there is the internal alignment if it is root there is the root face and that area root area it is the internal alignment is not properly checked before the holding there is a big problem in the welding because welding cannot be melt in that area if it is melt also if it is it cannot be melt in both area and it can be distortion it can be a defect so we need to check the internal mismatch should not be there and when you are joining to pipes okay so you see the the first picture it is here measure internal mismatch how we are measuring the second page i will go the i will i will show you the how it is the how it is looking like this internal alignment gauge measure scribe lines weld fillet okay there is a weld fillet if it is a fillet weld is there how we can check what is the uh, scribe lines measure crown height crown height also we can check from this internal line with so it is not only internal alignment gauge we can check these three types of measuring this type of gauges measure internal alignment of the pipe after fit up so this one we need to check the internal alignment after fit up we need to check it can be used to measure internal misalignment of a pipe both before and after tacking so we need to check before tacking and after tacking if there is a heating by heating there is a some uh, alignment is for have uh, some problem so we need to check the, that alignment also after heat after tacking not only does the gauge has gauge measure internal measurement of pipe wall but it also measures scrap lines you see it's here mentioned the scrap lines weld fillet size and crown height one side measure in inches and the other side in metric units use this type of gauges help to reduce the number of radiographic rejects it satisfies fit up requirement in the SME and CA and FA and military standards so this is why we need this one because if it is the internal alignment is good so the radiography it will not be radiography reject it will not become any radiography reject rejection you 
see this is called hilo gauge this is the same gauge we are using the measure hilo pipe thickness bevel angle hilo we can use the hilo we can uh, measure from the, for this one pipe thickness and the bevel angle also we can measure so these two areas those two areas we can use for this one and this is the one in the middle you see this is the sliding bar is there you can slide up and down single purpose weld gauges what is single purpose weld gauge the single purpose weld gauges are designed for checking internal alignment for determine the weld root spacing the same thing so that is called the internal misalignment the same thing internal miss what i use this 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 uh, high low gauge is the same you have to use also here you see internal misalignment is there so we can check from a single purpose old gauges unlock the retain here is the screw is there you have to unlock this first one after that you have to this this uh, unlock the press the gauges legs these are gauges legs place we need to press and we have to put inside the pipe insert the legs on the root opening between the two pieces of pipe be fitted turn on the gauge 90 degree beam so one if you see the these two faces these two legs if we go inside and suddenly if you uh, that that Mm, screw if it is tight if it is loosened after that we can tie it we can see from the outside we can take from out and take the take out and we can check the what is the um, internal misalignment are there so hold the gauges as square as possible with the fitting to obtain accurate reading and lock the retaining screw reverse to the 90 degree turn and remove the gauges so after finishing we have to check there is a misalignment then we have to lock this one and then you have to remove from this root uh, space and we can check the how how much it is the difference for internal misalignment so this is the uh, idea how to check you have to you see here root oil space how to check the root oil space it's a, it is one of the in, in same gauges is single purpose oil gauges unlock the retaining screw and it is mentioned here clearly unlock the retaining screw and insert the gauge interior element slops stops between the two pieces of pipe to be fitted insert the leg with the long taper into the root opening and it it is contact with both sides so i think you it is clear This is adjustable fillet well gauge with unequal leg measurement. This is the very uh, small types of gauge and you can use in the pocket and uh, there is especially this one you can use for the um, fillet weld. So fillet weld 1, uh, one by 8 to 1 inch and is accurate for two, 1 to third, one by 32 inch. It can be fit into I told this is a short pocket and element to need the 7 different gauge blades are there. You can see here we can use this one for throat thickness we can check from here we can check from the this is the slide is there and slide up and down we can we can do and if the concave this is convex holding how the convex holding we can check from these gauges you see adjustable fillet will gauge with unequal leg measurement future the adjustable fillet will gauge uses an offset arm that slide is 45 degree angle you see here the slides arm is there that is called 45 that is 45 degree angle is there make the fillet or leg measurement you simply adjust the arm until it touches touches the toe so you have to fix continuous you have to uh, your slides we have to go there up to the toe and you have to fix that one and you can measure the toe and the leg length the gauge is calibrated to 1 by 32 inch 4 screw hold of the offset arm in position of the future adjustment. So the gauges also measure the oil throat. The oil throat and the oil leg length both we can measure here for this adjustable fillet oil gauge with unequal leg measurement future. If the weld is concave, more material material can be added to build with the oil throat up to be shunned. So we can check also same here from this um uh, gauges the adjust the adjustable fillet will gauge measure both leg length and also fillet oil thickness this is the very popular 
bridge cam gauge this is the very popular gauge we are using at site and every inspector have this one in any industry we can use this one this type of gauge is a unique versatile instrument for the inspections of welded surface and joint it can measure the following angle of preparation from 0 to 60 degree any of the angle preparation we can check from this old this old gauges and we can use this one for fillet weld also excess weld metal we can check depth of undercut we can check depth of beating we can check fillet will throat size also we can check fillet leg length we can check and the misalignment high and low so we go the next page we check one by one how it is checking how we can use for this particular measurement it displays the measurement in both inches and millimeter we can use linear measurement up to 60 mm or 2 inch the gauge is easy to use this gauge is very easy to use it is comprised to one rotating dial and it is you see here is one rotating dial and one sliding pointer is there you simply move the dial or pointer until it moves the appropriate contact and then read the result so i can show you here you see old profile gauge scale in inches or mm here is one is inches this is sliding is inches and you see here it's mm is there inches and mm inches or mm both are here so it can be measured in both scale measuring fillet weld you see here it's mentioned here measuring fillet weld and this one is measuring cap reinforcement misalignment so how to check the cap reinforcement this is from there from this point we can check measuring cap reinforcement misalignment and the bevel you see here mentioned measuring bevel angle so from this point we can use the measuring bevel angle You see, it is very clear example cap reinforcement. How we can check the cap reinforcement? Just the gauge you have to put in the, your in your base, and it should be in the parallel condition. And you see here measuring the height cap of the height. So you can check here inch or mm area in zero. If it is zero zero is the and uh, in the calibration condition when it is go go by beyond this one, so means it is a there is a cap height how much we can measure from there throat thickness you see here is clearly how to use these gauges to measure the throat thickness so it is fillet oil how to check this is your sliding is there we can check that this one and here is mentioned in this uh, area uh, the sliding area that is mentioned the inches or mm how you can check the, how much throat thickness is there this is very easy to uh, handle this one easy to measure you see bevel angle read out this one we can read the 45 to 0 20 30 30 45 it's mentioned is like this you see read out how to read out we can measure from here measuring the five bevel angle so what we are measuring here the measuring the pipe bevel angle why you need to check this one you need to as for WPS we need to is very important as for the WPS so you need to check this one W uh, people angle before the welding misalignment we can check from here also also misalignment we can check like high low gauges also you can check the root there is a root spacing in, in inside misalignment internal misalignment we can check also same here in above condition if you see on the scale the misalignment we can check from also here this is here you see this is uh, mention here zero zero from zero to it is beyond it is uh, already four mm so this is almost um, uh, three to four mm the misalignment is there visual weld acceptance criteria gauge so this is uh, visual weld acceptance criteria gauge so in visually if we see the oil what type of defect will come undercut will come checking porosity checks crown out and checks amount of porosity per linear inch so this is the visual time visual defect we need to check so this type of weld gauge is used to determine if fillet weld and easily 
and quickly check the four essential measurement required for compliance with the visual oil acceptance criteria. So if it is the fillet oil, so we can check from this measuring instrument all this type of undercut depth, checks porosity composition, how much in you know what length, how much porosity is there. Everything we can check from this measurement. This is called this, this type of gauge. This is the type visual oil acceptance criteria gauge. This is the visual for fillet oil. Also, we can use here the single B bar tool. Also, we can check the undercut tips or crown height scale can be read 1 to 32 inch porosity comparison are in terms of 1 by 8 and 1 by 16 inch. The linear gauge is in 1 by 16 inch increments. The gauge is easy to set and a locking screw hold it in position for later reference. All four required measurements are made with one gauge. So, this one measuring device we can use we can measure the four different types of uh, uh, defects four different types of uh, visuality so this is the two days from beginning uh, the old what are the, how you are using the welding gauges at uh, world for uh, welding after welding finish how you are using so this is a very important all these um, gauges how to use and where uh, how it is works bridge cam kit so thank you very much for watching the video and don't forget to share and subscribe my channel to keep on update with you uh, with, uh, with you thanks a lot for watching bye bye